If I was to go up on the space station, then I would want to go out in the space in the suit and want to work on it. I'd like to move around a lot and do flips and stuff. I would first have fun, and then I would go start research on like different like plants to see how space affects the plants. I would like to actually go out there and help hook up, <laughs> like build it. Technically, this mission is going to add the capability to provide more power to the space station. To be able to have more power, we have to have more solar arrays, we have to have a place to put them. So extending that central truss segment out and attaching those solar arrays will be critical for the future of the space station. Well, the S-5 truss, actually we call it stubby. It's, it's, a, it's a little structural piece and it, uh, it goes on the end of the truss that's already up there and provides the next uh, structure for attaching the very last piece on the end of the truss, which holds the solar arrays. going to be a really exciting spacewalk for us. Uh, we're both highly trained spacewalkers and we've both been to space but neither one of us has actually done a spacewalk before. So you can imagine opening the hatch of the airlock, sticking your head out, looking down at the earth below you, traveling 25 times the speed of sound, reaching out and handrail by handrail moving out to the extreme limit on the starboard side of the space station. I would say I am the coordinator. I will be the person inside, the IV, the intervehicular crew member. I'm kind of the quarterback in a way. I'm keeping the big picture. I'm keeping track of two different crew members outside, and it's to keep them safe. We're going to be doing a remove and replacement of an old CMG, a control moment gyro, and we're bringing up a new CMG. Well, the space station uh, uses the CMGs for attitude control. It saves the uh, space station from having to use fuel. They use the, the CMGs instead for attitude control. And right now, I believe they have three functioning CMGs, which is it's well capable of operating on those. But obviously, we want the fourth one in case another one fails or has problems. But I think what's really exciting about the space station program is the station itself is not only a research platform, it's a technology development platform. All these issues that we face for the space station are similar issues that we're going to face on the moon, and we can develop new technologies for habitability, living and working in space, test them out on the space station, and then take those technologies and apply them to lunar exploration.